Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 view and today we're going to do an idea in which one of you guys commented on the last episode of um, What If so we'll be getting into that shortly but before we begin guys just want to um, do another little quick um, heads up because we are literally only 50 subscribers away from 3,000. I think we're 56 right now. So yeah, 56 subscribers away. We are so, so, so close. But we're also very, very low on time as we pretty much only have two days until the month changes, until the month ends. So let's really, really see if we can try and get 3,000 before the month ends because that would be amazing. And if so, that means we can do the 3,000 subscriber live stream next week, hopefully. So yeah, that's pretty pretty cool yeah but um yeah and obviously um massive massive huge thanks to everyone who's um subscribed along the way to 3000 as well just a huge huge thanks to you it's amazing like just cannot think you guys enough you're the best fans in the world like just it's just absolutely amazing and i never ever thought i'd even get 1000 to be honest so 3000 that's pretty cool so yeah we are very very close on um to that but anyways today what we are going to be doing is we're going to be giving all of the planets the mass of jupiter so yeah i saw the idea from the last video, it said make them all the same size as Jupiter, but I believe other YouTubers have done it, so I don't particularly want to um, do something exactly, or I do something someone else has already done, so I thought I'd twist it up a bit. And we're going to make every planet the same mass as Jupiter, maybe not the same size, but the same mass. So, yeah, let's get into this. So let's um, slow down time, and we'll see in my um, custom simulations there of all of the um, modded planets and all of the um, special editions and custom colours and stuff, so... Yeah, we're going to have some fun in here today, so let's pause this. Now we're going to give all these guys one mass of Jupiter. So we need to go to, yeah, mass, go to, um, uh, no, not Earth, Jupiter. So we can do this. So it's going to make the radius bigger, but radius really isn't going to make too much of a difference. We, we want the mass, so we're going to go one Jupiter. Oh, this is going to be crazy. And then there's our custom Venus as well. Um, Earth, we're going to make you one Jupiter. It's going to make it very, very large in size, which is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, Mars, we're going to go, um, no, wrong thing, uh, not Earth, nope, stop clicking on Earth, so we're going to go to one Jupiter, like that, then, um, it said, well, it did say make all the planets, but I am tempted to do Ceres as well, because it is sort of like a, the most major object in this part of the solar system, in the asteroid belt, so, yeah, we'll do Ceres as well, why not, so, um, let's do Ceres, and we'll do Pluto as well, because I still think Pluto should be a planet, um, uh, Jupiter's already one Jupiter, isn't it, so, don't need to change that. Yeah, Jupiter. 318 Earths, which is one Jupiter. Okay, Saturn. Let's make you one Jupiter. That'd be quite interesting. So, a Saturn with a Jupiter mass actually makes it larger than Jupiter. Okay. And then we've got our custom Uranus next. So, let's go to one Jupiter of you. Then we've got good old Neptune out here. So, let's make you one as well. There we go. Pluto. Yeah, we're definitely changing you because you should be a planet. So, one. All right, there we go. And then, um, Iris. Hmm, here it is. Oh, Planet 9 as well. Yeah, because Planet 9 is a planet, so Jupiter, one matter. Probably not going to do much, but we'll do it anyway. We'll, yeah, we'll go, um, we'll do Eris, and then we'll do Sedna, and then that'll be it. So, Jupiter, like that, and Sedna, yeah, we'll do you as well. Why not? Just to get a little more um, big objects in the outer system. Okay, so there we go. So, every single major planet, and, and I guess Planet 10 as well, even though I don't really know if this thing exists or not, you guys asked me to add it in, so... Planet 10's got a massive Jupiter as well, so there is that. Okay, but now, let's line them all up and have a look at what we've got here. Look at this. Oh, gosh. So Saturn is now the largest planet in the solar system with one massive Jupiter, but look at that radius, 87,000. It's a pretty crazy stuff. Then we've got Uranus, just a little bit larger than Jupiter. Then we've got, obviously, Jupiter itself, Neptune. We've got Sedna, Eris, Venus, Mars. Oh, not Mars. We've got Mercury. Then we've got um, Earth. Planet 9 hasn't really got that much bigger. Then we've got Mars. For some reason, it hasn't changed in radius. Turn that on. That didn't even do anything. So, there is that. Then we've got Pluto as well. Planet 10. These guys haven't changed. But honestly, it's the mass at the end of the day that makes the difference. So, yeah, there is all of that. I like how Iris got made big, but Pluto didn't. Oh, oh well. So, yeah, there we go. Look at this. This is going to be pretty really insane. Wow. All right. So, let's do this. Okay, so we will quickly... Um, save this solar system just so we have all of the planets saved so let's turn that off let's go to this menu here let's just call it um jupiter um mass solar system so solar system like that right and there we go 
Now, actually, I want, before we actually while I'm actually hitting play here, I'm actually really really excited to do the 3,000 subscriber live stream. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It should be next week. So we should have 3,000 by next week. So pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, let's really really see if we can try and get it before the end of the month because it is quite close right now. But I think we can do it. So yeah. Right. Anyways, um, this is all the gun now. So let's see. This. So yeah, these are all got one mass of due to, and look, its mass is all changing. It's all going weird. Mars. Yeah, because it's adapting to its new mass, which is quite interesting. So, right, let's um, let's check the orbits because the orbits are going to be a big difference. So, yeah, look at this. The sun is now in a binary orbit with Neptune. It looks like okay, interesting. So yeah, that is that. Yeah, I reckon the orbits they're going to be very very hectic once we um actually start going here. So, let's speed this up. And there you go. I knew it. So all the objects are wobbling because remember one Jupiter is bad enough. But when there's like nine of them, or nine or ten of them, that's where stuff really heats up. So, oh my gosh. How's Earth doing? Can we still live here? But it's at 12 degrees. Yeah, we, we could probably live here. Look at this. Oh, God. So there's Earth. Yeah, we've got all the city lights. All right, cool. Um, climate mode. See, it's all working good. Turn that on. There we go. Look at that. Hell yeah. So, um, let's turn that down. Yeah, so Earth is all good. Um, materials. Yeah, it's got life like you could still, but the Earth similarity has gone down since it is a lot larger, so yeah, there is that. But still, let's um, keep an eye, so I'm pretty sure if we um, keep playing this, stuff is going to get ejected from the system. Yeah, just look at this, wobbling around, yeah, these are getting very unstable, these orbits, so it should be quite interesting to look at. So now we just have to um, just keep going here and see what happens, so let's... Um, Really speed up. See how fast we can go here. So we travel a year, a year per second, pretty much. Okay, cool. So let's actually see if the solar system can handle this, or if it's just going to become a total mess. Because obviously the orbits, the all of the minor objects out here, they're the ones that are wobbling. You can see here, Eris is changing a bit, but yeah, it's mostly the minor stuff like these guys here. Sedna is um, wobbling a bit. Planet Nine as well, just because of all these other objects closer to the sun. They're really gonna cause a bit of a mess but the one thing I'm interested in is the asteroid belt objects and actually speaking of the asteroid belt we will add it in just to see if anything happens um, so let's um, do that so let's go to rings okay um, asteroid belt oh, oh god I feel a sneeze coming all right so yeah I've got an asteroid belt here then the Kuiper belt we'll do the same with you so it's about 25 to oh god oh, 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 sneeze coming all right so 25 to 40 AU so there we go all right add ring Okay, so it should be there somewhere. Yeah, it is there. So the Kuiper belt is now here. So we just go on flashlight mode just so we can see it. Okay, there it is. So something like this. So now if we hit play, I reckon you a lot of these are going to wobble out. A lot of these objects. There's no way every single one is going to stay fine. I reckon Ceres, with all that mass, is definitely going to cause some trouble. I mean, you can see, look, this one here. If we just pause. This one, little one here. This has already been thrown into the inner part of the system. So I reckon a lot of the inner planets could get bombarded with these asteroids caused by Ceres and Mars possibly as well so that's not good and obviously Jupiter could um, be playing into that as well but yeah you can see that the asteroid belt Mr. Spock this asteroid here that never was in the orbit of Jupiter so this thing's orbit's been stretched out a bit looks like Hygieia there as well this um, asteroid belt object that has also got slightly closer to Jupiter which isn't good so if they get too close Jupiter could act they could actually start to orbit Jupiter or even Ceres as well since Sirius does have a massive Jupiter as well, even though it's only that size in radius, not very large, but still has the mass, which is what really counts at the end of the day. So let's um, keep going here. Anything really happening though? So it doesn't seem like, like you can see here, some of them are getting spread out. Look, these ones are beyond the orbit of Jupiter now. So yeah, it definitely does make a difference having the um, Ceres in there because that is definitely um, messing these asteroids up a lot more. Even though, if we, even if Ceres wasn't here, I reckon Mars would still cause an effect as well, because Mars is relatively close to some of the asteroids in the asteroid belt. So there is that. But yeah, look at this. Some of them are getting really far out here. Look, that one's um, sort of approaching where Saturn almost is. Let's get, get a little closer, but it's sort of heading back. Let's see where it goes. Yes. Yeah, but let's look at the whole system. It is definitely um, a lot less stable as well. Just look at all the wobbles. We just pause there. I'll pretty much just look from this distance. Look at all this. Pretty, pretty crazy stuff this so that is that yeah it's getting very laggy in here we can't really play this much more so just um so the asteroids were here this is what would happen but yeah we'll remove them for now so the asteroids definitely would be effective but now let's um speed up the plane again let's see what goes on so it probably may take a while for stuff to work it's kind of when we can't play it any quicker anymore that's kind of that does suck so i just have to keep playing at this speed so let's um, hopefully watch and see stuff happen. Yeah, it looks like um, this one here, 
Now, I was told it isn't pronounced Shiron. I think it's called Kai. I think you're going to say, call it Chiron. Well, the only reason I called it Shiron is because if you're a car guy, then there's a car called the Bugatti Shiron. So, yeah, it's spelled exactly the same. So a car guy like me sort of fell into the trap there. Same spelling, but you pronounce this Chiron, I believe. Chiron. I guess it makes sense, but I'd, I'd, I'd spell it with a K instead of a C, but it's just the way these things are pronounced, and they're never really easy, are they? You guys know, if you watch my videos for quite a while, I'm not the best at pronouncing some of these names, but yeah, I believe that is pronounced Chiron, so that's a correction from one of the previous episodes where I called it Chiron. But honestly, it's the same spelling as the Bugatti Chiron, so it sort of makes sense there, but right, let's keep going here, so just look at this. Pretty, um, a lot of wobbling going on, but honestly, nothing is getting tossed out of the system, which is quite interesting, so maybe the system could work with everything being the mass of Jupiter, because I guess in, if everything was a mass of Jupiter, then it would sort of even out everything, because obviously Jupiter, because, because Jupiter is obviously the largest and most massive planet normally, Jupiter sort of bullies everything around, but if everything else is the same mass as Jupiter, it sort of prevents Jupiter from bullying, it makes them all equals. So the only things that are really getting affected are stuff that don't have the mass of Jupiter. See that Vesta here, this asteroid belt object, this is one of the largest objects in the asteroid belt as well, Vesta, that is now in the orbit of Mars. So it's only the minor objects, that all the objects that do not have a mass of Jupiter, they're the ones that are changing, but all of the objects that do have a mass of Jupiter, they aren't changing too much. As you can see, they're still relatively, all the orbits are pretty much in the same place, excluding Planet 10, Sedna, Pluto, Planet 9, all that, because they're, they're really far away, and their orbits are relatively weird anyway, so... That is that. But you can see Uranus's orbit seems to be getting bigger, it looks like. So that is that. Okay, oh, lucky that sneeze never came. I was going to sneeze, but sort of went away. So, um, Venus, how are you doing? Venus has cooled down a bit. Okay, so maybe it's got a little further from the sun. How far are we from the sun right now? We are, let's see, 0.7 AU, okay? So I don't really know if that's further or not. Earth is still 1.02. So Earth has got a little further from the sun, it looks like. 1.02, 1.03, it's usually going to be 1. So Earth may have got a little further, which is pretty interesting. Okay, anything else, though? Okay, it's, it seems like it's pretty... Find an iris. That's definitely changed. Look how, yeah, I'm pretty sure its orbit was not like that originally. I, I think that's changed a bit. You can see it is wobbling a lot as well. So there's that. Obviously, the sun. You're you're pretty much the fine. You're still the king here with one mass of sun. Because remember, one mass of sun is about thousand. Yeah, thousand forty eight Jupiters. So yeah, the sun is still the king here. Okay. So yeah, Venus has cooled down. Actually, I'm gonna check Mercury. How hot are you? 100 okay, so Mercury's still relatively um, hot though, because obviously Mercury being the closest to the sun, its orbit's probably not going to change too much since it's very close to the sun. The sun controls this part mostly, so the inner solar system is relatively okay, but as you can see its orbit is slightly changing as well. So at the daytime, how what's Earth's orbit? Earth is what or 1.03 years, so yeah, the year is now ex being extended longer. So may have to add a few extra um, days onto the year. So instead of being 365 days. Let's have a look. It'll be like 370, maybe? 378 days a year. So a little longer the years now, which is pretty interesting. How's Mars doing? Uh, Mars, 1.85 years. <laughs> and then if we stretch all the way out here, planet 9, 12,000. You look at the look at the number change. Like, you can't even really say what how many or how many years it takes to go around the star. Just look, like, million years, like, god damn. <laughs> So it keeps fluctuating from 24,000, it's 24,000 right now, and then it goes all the way to like 16,000, 15,000, like, yeah, Planet 9, you can't really, like, it doesn't even have a year, really, it just keeps changing, I guess. So yeah, Planet 9, can't really get many, um, much info from that, since it is very unstable with the orbit, as you can see. Look at this, seven major axis, look at this distance, continually change, it's pretty crazy stuff there. But overall, though... If, her, if all of the planets and some of the dwarf planets as well, if they had all the same mass as Jupiter, the solar system wouldn't suffer too much, honestly, because you can see here, like, J Jupiter's still relatively in the same spot. Like, most of the planets, most of the main planets, Pluto, Pluto's changed a bit, but most of the main planets are still relatively all in the same spots, because they're all evened out a bit, since they're all equals now. So Jupiter can't bully them around anymore, and if you just saw there, Mr. Spock, the asteroid was orbed in series for a bit there. So pretty cool stuff. Yeah, most of the objects are all equals now. You can see Earth's climate is really having an effect here. If we just um, if we just look at the um, if you look at the image there, if you just um, look carefully, you can see how the North Pole keeps fluctuating up and down. Like you can see it, it's covering all of Greenland, then it goes all the way back down again. So if we just pause it there, 
you can see it's a lot more close to the North Pole. But if we, um, if it gets to its further point, you can see it. Almost all of Greenland is covered with the ice and snow now, and even like Northern Europe here, you can see like Finland, Sweden, Denmark, those sort of countries. Northern Europe, they're getting almost covered by the giant ice sheet of the North Pole. Even the United Kingdom as well. Even that's almost getting. Um, closed up with and not even Africa South Africa and all of those um, countries there they are completely all frozen over right now obviously Antarctica should be quite good as well since it is very cold like you can see the surface temperature is 11.9 right now usually with the normal simulation it's about 15 or 16 so yeah it's definitely changed and look you see like, a lot of the USA as well you can see like all of California which is where the hottest recorded temperature is in Death Valley that is all ice right now so you definitely won't be getting any hot temperatures there probably you can see even like Central America, Mexico, that's all frozen up. You can see like um, Argentina, all of that mountain range is all ice as well. So pretty great stuff. And it looks like even a bit of the Caribbean there. So you can't see my mouse, but it looks like a bit of the Caribbean's a bit white as well. So pretty interesting stuff there. Okay, cool. So yeah, there's a lot of them, a lot of the countries um, on Earth are slightly um, different to usual as well. But it's pretty cool. I do like the climate mode on Earth. I, I really like the climate mode. I think it's a very cool little feature. I just hope it. I just want it to work a bit more. Like one of the things um, we probably will discuss this in the live stream about what we want um, in Universe Sandbox. But I won't spoil it too much. But one of the cool things would be to have weather on Earth. Like you know, like tornadoes and like um, the giant hole, like holes in the clouds. What they call? They call them. Storms or something you know, like the giant white clouds with a circle in the middle those clouds It'd be really cool to have those on earth like actual have like proper weather well, one of the, A really cool thing would be to have the actual earth's weather in the game That would be really really cool, but we probably won't ever see it It'd be a very cool thing to have that as like the real earth's weather across the world in universe sandbox That'd be very very cool But yeah, we, we can we can um we can dream I guess but it never will be added but yeah, pretty, pretty cool stuff there. So there's um, good old Earth. But honestly, I think that is it. Because um, obviously the system isn't really getting... Nothing's really going on. We've played it for 230, 240 years now, pretty much. Honestly, the system's completely fine. Like All the orbits seem pretty fine. So, yeah, there we go, guys. So that is what happens if you turn the, all of the planets' mass to one Jupiter. And then a few of the dwarf planets, like Sedna, all that as well. So, yeah, so if you turn all, the, um, all their masses to one Jupiter... The system isn't doesn't really get affected too much. Like you can see, everything still orbits in the sun. Even Planet Nine and Seda. Like usually, when we add a star into the system, these objects don't even orbit the sun anymore. But they are still orbiting in the sun. So it's, this isn't too bad. It actually, it actually, the simulation does work, which is quite cool. Obviously, can't play the fastest, but yeah, it's um, not too bad. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, um, guys. Um, if you have any um, thoughts or um, any suggestions as well, because obviously, if you've got any ideas for more what if videos. Um, leave them down below. There's actually some really cool ones on last episode, which um, I've actually put into the list of video ideas on this WordPad file I have. So they are bookmarked, I guess, and I will come to them um, when I get to them. Since there is quite a lot of ideas, but if you've got any what if ideas, feel free to leave them down below. And yeah, if I um, if I like the idea, then I will um, put, give the comment the little heart thing, and I will copy the comment into my WordPad file, so I'll have it ready to go um, when I get round to doing it. Since there is a lot of ideas and videos I need to obviously get round to doing, so. Yeah, there is that. And also, if you haven't already subscribed for new, helps them join to 3,000 subscribers because that would be amazing. We've got two days, two more days until we get it. So, or, or two more days until we sort of hit the deadline um, target. Let's really, really see if we can get it before the month ends because that would be awesome. But yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.